time for our coffee. Hi, morning, Branch. Did you have pancakes? There's my love. It's a little messy out here. We're, we're sorting through stuff. It is so hot. What do you think, Dal? Well, I got the sitting area over there and under the tree done. Hey, do you want to walk over there? Are you, do you feel yeah, we can after the grass isn't all that wet. Is oh, it? let me check it out because it was so hot. I doubt you got any dew last night. So. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'll walk out. Mm, it's a little wet, but not too bad. We don't want his feet to be wet all day. There's the cornfield that's coming in. Remember, it used to be a apple orchard. Now it's a gonna be a cornfield. And uh, as I'm walking out here, just to give you a little update of the morning. See, the beans are sprouting. So we're gonna have pansies and beans. Won't that be fun? Well, this one's not as prolific as this one. <laughs> this one's popping up through. This one's got leaves, and this one's popping up through. There's beans. Yeah. So is that one. So we'll have some beans too. So. This one's popped up. Mm-hmm. There's another two more right there. Oh yeah, they have some nice leaves on them. Oh good. So we'll have some beans. We thought it would be fun. Well, what they do is they're, they're pole beans. They'll either grow up the chain or they'll cascade down. So it gives the flowers a look of... Uh... Yeah, it's a little wet, in it? Yeah, it's wet. Not, not as wet as... i sorry, I thought it wasn't as wet. Is it making your feet wet? Yeah, we'll find out. Uh-oh. We got to take... Gonna, uh, get back here today. No, we'll go with wet sneakers. Yeah, that's true, too. I usually go and help him take his shoes off just because it's one of those things. I moved these yesterday when I mowed under there. Yeah, we can move them back over here if you want, honey. I'll help you. That's where they go. Here, have to meet you. I got it. Oh, thank you. So here's our spot. I got bare feet, so this isn't going to be fun if I get dirty. But, oh, look at Bigfoot came along. Only must be a son. <laughs> so those two big stones that were stuck in there. Oh, it's a lot cooler over here, Dal. Oh, we're gonna stay here now? Oh, cool. This is a nice shady spot to go. Yeah, yeah, the sun's coming up behind us. See the sun's over there? So this way it's not in our eyes. Great idea. Oh, <laughs> no problem is we're right up on the... You wanna move over a little? I mean, do you wanna move we're it? We're about 30 feet from the road. So we can look and snuck up on them. But it's nice and shady under here, though. The breeze. Oh yeah, this something is a... about, something about pine trees. They always the breeze always seems to go through the pines. If you ever walk through pine trees, no matter how hot it is, there's always a breeze underneath them for some reason. This is a lot cooler than over there. Yeah. Wow. The air's kind of dead over there on the porch. Yeah, you get a breeze. The only thing is the dog's barking because he wants to be over here. No. Can't let my dog roll every moment of my life. He certainly is spoiled. My next project is getting that dog cable out of that tree. Yeah, we put the tree to rock some of the branches. Yeah, we put that thing up I there. I just put it up into the branches so I can get up in the floor. Yeah, because while we were working and had the dog up here with us for a while, but he's we, he's over there. To look at him trying to boss me around. Mama, you come get me right now. <laughs> You're safe over there, and it's, you've got shade, water, food, and you haven't eaten your breakfast yet. <laughs> and Clay... It feels good right here. Oh, it feels great. I think this is the coolest spot. The house is cool, but not as cool as this. I don't mind being this close to the road. They don't really see us unless they're looking, and then they deserve to see us. It's like their little treat. Some people crane their neck a little more. Look at Yeah, but that's okay. I like to wave, but <laughs> I can get carried away with it. Because <laughs> I love people. I always say, I'm like, God, I love people. 
Oh, he's... There's a map right here. It's nice and yeah, cool. it is. Well, remember you said move our Adirondack chairs under yeah, here. Yeah, we'll move the Adirondack chairs under here. Because we could take a nap easier and then... Um... Shade stays under this tree for a long time. Yeah, Dad, uh, this is nice. Well, there's their mountain ash. And those... Oh, oh, so many. Where? Oh, look at that. a big one. There's mountain ash, and those white flowers will turn. And they're little orange berries. And the birds love them. And the birds really like this spot over in this part of our yard, so we like it because we can see the birds. We're, we're going to put some more feeders out for them now that we don't have so many chickens, you know, because they like to come into the barn and feast all day, even though, you know, they just, like, fly through the fence, go right through the chicken door and go right in. <laughs> oh, and for one of our followers, it said that this tree reminded, this pine reminded them of a blue spruce. That's because it is a blue spruce. Yeah, this is a blue spruce. We just wrote pine tree, but it actually is a blue spruce, yes. And that's a variegated maple, which is coming out yellow and green, but it will be white and green. It's really beautiful in the summer. Up here it comes. Hey, have a good time, bud. I don't know what it is, but he's having a good time. And over there, over there, which has been a no man's land, which we were going to leave that part of our lawn, but we're going to put, well, what's the skull? There's, there's flowers over there. There's some yeah, there, pine and you have tulips, tulips and, and things stuff. like that. Yeah, there are flowers there. We're going to put more wild flowers in. And, no, but didn't we talk about putting pumpkins and things? Well, maybe? I'm going to plant, we got pumpkins and Blue Hubbard squash that we want to put in. Yeah, we're thinking so about we're it. We're just going to put them over in here. Yeah, we let just them grow into the weeds, and that way they'll get a chance to survive. Yeah, we're thinking about doing that. And see, it, you know, nothing's ever written in stone around here, guys. And under this sign, the state put a sign here. We're going to put uh, hostas. Hostas, yeah. So if it's west of 370 and 104. Here we go. This is kind of a fun view because I like to look at the trucks. What's the uh, asphalt? Ask yeah, they're fixing a lot of the roads and things around here. This guy's going to work. Oh, look at yeah. What is that? There's a cat. Not my cat. That's that gray cat, I think. Boy, he ran. I thought it looked like almost like a squirrel. Cats are always getting hit on this road. Yes, they are. I hate it when people dump off cats because if they're not feral they usually get hit by the car and I hate it because it just makes you feel sad right now we just have the one cat everybody else has been adopted out we just adopted out five kittens and so we are gonna keep Charlene and so she'll be our official cat so we'll keep her and she's the inside cat, the only inside cat. Everybody else is feral. If you see any feral cats, I'll point out to you. Yeah, this is really is a nice breeze. Yeah, it is. I have to go over here after it gets, starts getting hot and see how it is. Oh, yeah. And yesterday when I got, this was brush pile all the way around this where I cut them off. You can see the rims where I cut them off the tree. I had to take this small chainsaw and cut up right tight to the tree so that they'll scab over. And they will scab over. And right behind clay too, if you can see it, is a mulberry I guess tree. A couple of small dead branches I could cut out. Oh you gonna cut these guys out? Yeah. Well this this one here is dead. Yeah. <clears throat> but that's just trimming, that's no big deal. I can do that with a pair of small trimmers. I just love sitting under here because it just reminds me of when I lived at that Bible school when I was a kid with my parents. Well, I I love I the pine. The, I hated mowing around it because during the summer, if I got shorts on and just short sleeve shirt, I would mow around this and I'd, my leg and my arm would brush up and sometimes my face would brush up against the pine needles and I'd break out a little bit. So I figured I'd cut it up to six feet where you could stand under it without getting hit and that way I know that when I'm on the tractor I can mow under it without ever, never getting touched by the pine needles anymore. 
This is going to be like my spot to sit now, you know. Oh, that's a nice place to be. We'll get some of those radio control things to talk to each other if you're working. You're talking a walkie-talkie? Yeah. I used to have those when my kid was little. Of course, you know how that is. They play with buddies and the buddies and them play and somebody breaks it and throws it into a pool or something. And then that was the end of that game. <laughs> of course, that was... Usually my son was right with me anyway. Well, so. last year I trimmed up that tree so that I could drive under it without hitting my head into the branches. I guess there's a couple of branches i got to touch up. But I can do them with the nippers. That's no big deal. Yeah, we're talking about our latest grocery haul <laughs> that we've got to pick up. We really have a lot of food always here, so I think we're just probably need milk and bread, which means we really don't have to go. But you have to get, what do you have to get at the store sometime? Some peat cups for my uh, greenhouse and some fertilizer for the garden. What kind of fertilizer? Oh, I don't know, maybe a, a liquid fertilizer. I think I have some miracle growth. I haven't used any of that stuff in a long time. To watch trucks. I love trucks. Okay, so I'm not going to need the fertilizer probably till 4th of July or somewhere in there, so it's not essential to get today to get it. But if you're going to have a garden or you're going to do anything during the, the spring weather, you want to make sure you get it a couple of months ahead because uh, just about the time you need it, everybody else needs it too. So if you're going to pick up fertilizer and things, you need to pick it up now. It's the same way with uh, when you're buying chickens or anything. You do want to get them, do your schedule a few months earlier. Do your ordering and so that the sh you're at top of the shipping list. So if I need fertilizer for the 4th of July, this is the end of May. Now's the time to pick it up. And then you know they have some in abundance because we normally I pick up my my dirt and soil and things for uh, my garden in about April. And we went to get dirt the other day. And they were all out. We had to wait till they got another shipment in. So make sure you do your things earlier. Some people have been saying, which we have not had this problem in our area at all, they couldn't get any seeds this year. Yeah, a lot of people can't even get seeds. So I think there's a lot of people online, different gardening shows and such, that sell seeds too. So you can look up some of the YouTubers that sell well, seeds. Well, you can order the seeds, but I'm, I'm talking local. Yeah, we haven't places. had any problem like that, though. No, everybody that sells seeds had the seeds. Yeah, we're in upstate New York. We haven't had any problem getting the toilet paper because people panic. Toilet paper was the, the problem there a while back. But even still, most, even you, you can get with toilet paper at Walmart. I mean, it's not stacked like it used to, but that's because people panicked. Well, they were afraid there wasn't going to be any. I don't know what, what the big panic on toilet paper was. Somebody probably started something on Facebook or something. Well, and went so somebody crazy. probably had a cart full because they got scared and then everybody else seen that they had a cart full and <laughs> they wanted some. So everybody loaded up with toilet paper and it became a big scare. Like how much toilet paper do you need during the pandemic? I mean if you have <laughs> to. <laughs> God gave you water <laughs> I, I mean, if you <laughs> go outside and hold, you haven't got money to buy either. groceries, you're not going to have to go to the bathroom very often. Well, a anyway, it's I. God takes care of me, not the grocery store. So somehow I'll just happen to be at the right place at the right time. Something will happen. I right? like it how the pine needles cover the ground and a big circle around the tree. Hey, I got—I don't know if I told you this. I may, yeah, I did tell you this. I got to tell you about my my box miracle. Your box miracle. Yesterday, I was going through boxes, just old stuff that we had, deciding what we're going to keep and what we're going to get rid of, and all that. And 
That's why there's boxes on the front porch. Yeah, that's why there's boxes on the we're, we're Going through all the stuff. Yeah, we're just going through old stuff, you know. But anyway, what happened was I felt... I've been trying to keep up with the, the outside stuff. Well, anyway, I felt like the Lord spoke to me. You don't have to listen to you think God still speaks to you, but he speaks to everybody. It's just if you're listening. But anyway, I felt like the Lord said, put gloves on for this one. Now, I haven't thought about putting gloves on for any of them. So I'm thinking, oh, gee, what's in there, a spider? Sometimes if you know, when in doubt, just do it, because what's the worst that could happen? I've done this through the years. I learned that in a Bible study one time. So anyway, I put my gloves on. Well, thank God I listened, because that, <laughs> that box was full of oil from when I used to do product reviews. It had lavender oil spilled all over, and it was all over the box. That would have been one oily vest, but anyway... The top was fine, but when I got to the bottom, it was over and stuff, so I'm like, oh, thank you. And then I had a big thing of peppermint oil, and you may not know this, but if you put peppermint around your house, mice don't like it. I planted it around my house. Mice don't like um, mothballs either, so if you want to get rid of mice, throw mothballs around too. And also, too, this is a terrible story, but it's true. You know, we live in the country. Let's face it. One reason I like cats but oh a couple years ago i heard scratching in my house well it, it was like near like we had this our garbage in like this container and i said oh that sounds like a mouse so my sister had told me before and i tried it it worked for me those sound things that keep the spiders away people say they don't work i don't know i think they do work my sister claims they work well anyway i went online and looked up the noise that keeps away mice. They turned it up really loud. And, yeah, and I turned it up really loud, and I, the mouse stopped scratching. <laughs> so I don't know, but I got I got a few of them plugged in my garage outlet. But we don't have any like anything like that in the house because my cats would be like <laughs> my cat now. She's a good hunter. She's bringing something home every day for. She she will bring home stuff. It's like, ooh, Charlie. Step out on the porch and she's got a present for mommy. The number one killer of birds. It's either a cats. mole or a bird or something. Remember always the, on the porch. Remember the day we started chasing a mole through the yard? It's like, because we had mole, we had lots of, lot, lot worse mole problems until we got the cats. Well, the reason we got a lot of mole problems is because when they first did 370, this was all a big ditch. And all the big monster rocks that the construction company and the road get crew were getting got dumped over in here. And then they just threw a bunch of dirt and soil on top of it. So if, when I went to dig down for these trees, I had to remove big monster rocks just to be able to plant the trees. The best cure for our moles, though, is the so cats. So all between the, between the rocks yeah. and everything down below, that's where the, the snakes and the moles all go. We don't have snakes really in the yard, but now the neighbors... Used to. Yeah. Used to be a lot of snakes in oh, here. Oh, were there? Because there would be big holes in between where the rocks were, and they just put the soil on top. That's why we had a bunch of... But the, after I started growing the grass and that, the snakes were slowly being chased out because I was mowing all the time. I'm a firm believer that every farmer should have a cat because cats keep away all the junk out of your yard. They kill the mice. They get the stuff. And uh, the feral, between the feral cats and Charlene, we pretty much have a pretty good... I mean, that's when the mole stopped big time was when we started to have cats. But now, like I said, we just we have our one cat and everybody well, else has been adopted out. Oh, because he's bossy. <laughs> he's bossy. Look at this. Looks like a mole hole. Maybe not. Could be. There. Could be because there were a lot of them in the yard. They were ruining our bulb garden, but we saw a huge difference. I'll bring him over after a little bit, but he's okay for a few minutes. I always watch him. He's like, it's like having a two-year-old when you have a doggy. I always keep him on his leash. Make sure he's got enough food and water all the time. And that he's cool because it's hot right now. So it's nice and shaded over there. And uh, he usually stays with me most of the time. But, or Clay. So he loves it when he can lounge with Clay while Clay's watching TV. He's got this like laser. 
Here's just hey, in your rocking chair. Is, is this oh, my rocking chair. <laughs> yeah, he was sitting in his rocking chair. He didn't like it because it moved. Uh-oh. Because he jumped right back down. Hey, what kind of birdie is that, I hear? He's like, Mommy, come get me. Come. You are fine. <laughs> well, my next major project is my quail, getting the quail into a shadier spot now that I've got oh, yeah, most that. of the major things accomplished. I was going to mow, but it's supposed to rain for the next two days, so I figure I'll let it rain. When it dries up, I'll mow and then rake up the grass for the compost bin and the birds. Because I do have my toe behind rake. And we think our rototiller days are done too. Oh, I'm not rototiller again. <laughs> We're going to give that to my son. <laughs> the rototiller days are over. And we like to share that stuff with you because as you're getting older and a lot of people are thinking about getting into homesteading, we want to give you the reality check. Because it all... Well, you can still homestead, but make it easier on yourself. Yeah, and you don't have to homestead. You can have, like we have, a backyard farm. You don't have to live in a tiny house and all that stuff. Because the problem with these things, guys, is when you get older, you've got a, all your plans you built your whole life on. You have to now adjust and change. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't. Because there may be more doctor's appointments. There may be more things. And if you live uh, in. A lot more doctors. Yeah, as you get older, you're, you're, you see your doctor more, <laughs> more than you want. But. Get good doctors in life. You shouldn't have to go to the doctors unless you need to. And they still have to plant those elephant ears. I'm going to do them yeah, this afternoon when we get back from the doctors. Yeah, take it easy. And shopping. Take... Yeah, we got a couple of errands to do. Yeah, we can do that. Ooh, what was that? That was weird looking. Like a bird. Yeah, it almost looked like a bat. Oh. Well, bats don't come out during the day here. No, I know that. Feel that breeze. Yeah, it's beautiful. Through. This is where we're gonna sit in the morning for coffee, love. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm so the, glad you did. You can this. see the limbs on this thing's moving, but look across the road. The limbs aren't even moving over there. <laughs> Next time we come out here, though, I'm gonna bring the dog with me because he's he wanted to be here. It's like these pine trees just absorb the wind or something. Yeah, it looks so cool. It's kind of funny, but I'm not complaining. That's a nice breeze. I kind of like the pine needles around the bottom of it. I was going to rake them all up, but then oh no, I then love that weeds and grass growing up too. The pine needles sour the ground so nothing grows up. You might get a weed or two, but nothing oh, major. No, I love I love that because, like I said, it just reminds me of when I lived at the Bible school when I was a kid. I just remembered we used to go under the pine trees and play. Kids, you can imagine that the whole pine tree would be down, and then you could like go in like a little clubhouse. Oh, we still love it. Well, anyway, I guess we better shut this down. I'm going to bring the doggy out here with me. I have to prepare our list. Yeah, I got to get some couple things going. I got to... We have to leave early to go to the doctor's. Yeah, I got to finish getting ready for that. We probably won't be home to probably 1, 2 o'clock. Yeah. But if I get nothing done this afternoon but the elephant ears and the, the bee bait box rebaited for catching a swarm of bees well today we don't require a lot days we got to leave because we have to be realistic yeah because that's why i did all my my rough work yesterday i kind of overdid it a little bit but at least it got it done i felt a lot better at the end of the day i burn up all the branches the pine branches and when you burn pine be prepared that stuff goes up fast because pine needles have a oil in them and they catch fire real easy. They smell good too though. I love the smell of the pine. That's why in the, when they have that pine scented spray at uh, Christmas time, I usually buy up a bunch of them so we can have it for this, the whole year because I love the smell of pine. Well Dal, I guess it's that time again. You know what time it is. It's time to remember. And what, what time is it when you remember? Remember, big or small. 
you too can be a backyard farm. Join us again. God bless you and bye-bye.